day nine and hopefully I don't fall off the bed this time. Um, <laughs> I almost fell off if you watched the last video. I caught myself before I fell, but I nearly fell off. What to talk about today? Um, I didn't really come with a prepared thing to talk about. I got to this a little bit late. I kind of forgot that I need to record today to post and yeah, I'm kind of tired. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm dazing. For me, late is kind of a lot of people's early. If you couldn't tell with all the fireworks going off in the background. Um, I've noticed recently uh, when I was at the other apartment or Airbnb in Benny Carlo, I did a really good job of going to bed early and then waking up early and having a whole routine. That was really nice. And I guess one of the big things I kind of want to bring up is when you're traveling, keeping a routine can be very difficult. I have noticed since we moved to a different Airbnb that my routine that I had is no longer fully working. And there's times when I try to do like, there's times where I completely forget that I have a routine that I need to do. I will lie in bed and get ready to go to sleep because I kind of fall asleep to videos, which that's something we can unpack at a later time. And I will start to get tired and get ready to fall asleep. And because I have built up some sort of habit, it has led me to go oh, I need to go brush my teeth. I need to go put my retainer in. I need to go take out my contacts. I need to do my nighttime routine. And there's been just a couple of nights so far where like I just completely forget about them and I'm really close to going to sleep and then being like, dang it, I need to go do my night routine. But I'm comfortable. I wanna get up. And that's usually how I sound when I realize too. My boyfriend probably could contest to that. I'm kind of a whiny baby whenever I'm tired and just want to go to bed. And so my response is, I don't want to. <laughs> Which makes me sound a lot more and more like a kid. Um, that's just how I do things because if I'm so if, because if I'm tired and I'm really serious I won't do anything and I know that and so at least if I joke a little bit about being like kind of childish just like I don't want to I can at least like may have like a funny side of things to get myself out of bed and go do those things because um yeah it's kind of hard when you're already ready to go to bed but back to the main topic of this is um dang it, i'm saying a lot of ums in these i'm i'm so sorry i <laughs> the main topic of this is just kind of like if you are traveling don't be too terribly hard on yourself if you have a routine that you don't fully stick to now i'm not saying like don't try to stick to your routine but it's a little bit different when you go from like an Airbnb that has two rooms and you have a whole routine for that and you have a partner with you. Well, and then you go to only really a single room Airbnb that both of you could share and not have to run into other people. It does change how you do your routines and how your flow for the mornings work or even at night if you are a night person. I know I'm I'm more of a morning person, my boyfriend is more of kind of a night person, at least that's how we are right now, and it kind of clashes a lot more when we're in a single room and not really having a lot of extra space to go out and kind of just be ourselves or do our own routine, whereas like at the other Airbnb, I would wake up, get up early and go to the living room, I would do, uh, I'd put the dishes away, I'd make coffee, I would go play a game of like Sudoku while I drink my coffee, maybe watch a couple of videos just to kind of wake up for the time, and then I would sit there for three minutes and just focus on breathing, 
and then I would read my 10 pages in the book in the day I would put I would braid my hair and I'd get all this done before my boyfriend even would wake up but now because of well my sleep schedule has kind of changed a little bit that <laughs> that has changed because of the traveling as well it's really hard for me to fully keep doing that type of routine it's honestly pretty hard and because if i wake up i want to be quiet but there's no real other area to do a lot of the stuff that i'm doing because really we only have a bed and like this desk that's pretty much it in this room that we could actually i could actually use to do things and so i'm gonna i'm having to adapt to what i'm doing and it makes it a little bit hard but it's doable it's just if you're traveling don't be too hard on yourself because routines are going to change and the environment that you're in is going to be a big impact on how you do things and i guess that's also one of the reasons why uh, my boyfriend and i decided to go out and travel was because then we could experience different types of environments and learn new things i think with that i'm going to end that there and hopefully i'm not too tired like too boring while i'm tired uh for you guys to finish watching this because i do think it's a big message for a lot of people to realize that they don't have to have a routine figured out 24 7 especially when they're traveling so peace i'm oh struggling to get up and see you guys later